Hey guys, I'm Hugh Reporter for Arnie's Creative Flow. I'm in my traditional Filipino colors, red and black. Under Armour has sponsored me on Filipino martial art wear. Just kidding, it's what I'm wearing for the last three videos. And this is Ewan Jenkins. Again, thank you again for letting us use your backyard and being my assistant in this demonstration. In this video, which is kind of part two to the other video of uh, double stick with blocking, we're gonna do the single stick with blocking. How do you apply single stick in blocking? So Ewan comes in with an angle one. When, he's, when I'm blocking, I have to be in harm's way. So I'm, I know if I missed, I get hit, okay? If he comes again, I know that I have to be in harm's way. So see how I miss there? That's what this hand's for, the checking hand. You'll see with some practitioners, they don't use that hand as much. And so what if accidentally I do this and I don't put that hand up? I get whacked. And sometimes I do get whacked because I miss. So you have to make sure that when you're blocking, whether it be a wing block, he comes with an angle one, or whether it be a roof block, or he comes with an angle four and it, it just be, it's just a standard tip up type block or deflection, that checking hand has to be in, especially when you're walking into danger. So if he came in with that angle one again and I step in, I've got to make sure I'm under my block, not here, and I don't block it with my hand because with force, that will hurt. He comes in with an angle four and I block with my hand. You could do it, but he's being nice. So come in hard. Here we go, see that? Even me on that one, I almost got whacked by my own stick. A lot of that is placement as well. And that's happened many times too. So you have to be aware of where the stick is. So when he comes in, that when I do this block, I'm just coming past my body, not in front of my face because the vibration, even when I block, will hit me in the head. You have to make sure when that comes in, you're like, boom, getting it out of the way before you hit. And go one, same thing. I have to get under that block and check that hand. Boom, and clear. The number one thing is to make sure when you're getting into harm's way that you are committed, you're not halfway, and that you block, whether it be a roof block, a deflection, or a wing block, that you have your support hand up to help with absorbing some of that force. As Ewan just feeds me random strikes, and I'm attacking, boom, and I'm attacking, boom, and then I, I find my timing. So I missed that one, boom, I missed, boom, there we go, it's great. Boom, I come on the outside. When I, see, I, I come in and I commit to that. I make sure I'm spotting that hand and I'm checking. Okay, and then I flow from strike to strike to strike to strike. I'm breaking down the house. Again, so boom, he keeps moving around. Come through, boom, 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 go, keep going. Boom, 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 boom. See it, boom, we go, boom. Long range. Then I come in, finding my timing. Boom. Switch. Boom. I'm on the outside now. So this puts me in a good spot. Oh, he's pulled it out. His hand. Ah! Thank you so much. So that gives you a rough idea of in and out and how to apply the block. You don't just run in, I'm gonna block. You don't just run in, I'm gonna block like this. Because if he comes in at speed, that vibration on your hand is gonna hurt. So you protect. Maybe with your forearm, you back it up with your checking hand. You wanna make sure that you're safe. Thank you again, Ewan, for this awesome lesson. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave a comment, ask a question, and I will promise to respond to you. That's another one for Niche Creative Flow. Ewan, finish them off, please. Ah!